First thing we're going to do is remove this back panel, taking off these two Phillips head screws. Next we're going to remove the barb drain fitting that comes on the back of the machine. Notice there's no pipe dope uh, or Teflon tape on this. We want to put this in the correct orientation before we mount our louver docking station. Place the louver docking station on the wall mount bracket. You want to line up your holes here. There's four of them here, two in the front, two in the rear. And we, se we secured it with our four 7 16 bolts. And we have our refrigeration piping stubbing in to the louver docking station two inches. Locate your stubs and your quick disconnects that are located inside the ice machine during shipping and then we're going to connect them to our lines head. We're going to remove our Schrader cores from both the liquid and suction. So our, our access ports are going to be vertical and this will locate the pipes correctly so that when you slide the ice machine into the louver docking station you'll mate up with the other side of the quick connects. Now that we have nitrogen flowing through our refrigeration lines, we're going to go ahead and solder the, the suction and liquid line with a, a Silfos 15 braze rod. After you're done soldering and everything's cooled down, you can go ahead and put your Schrader cores back in. We reinstalled the rear panel with these two stainless steel Phillips head screws. Note there is a, a notch on the bottom side uh, that goes around this drain fitting. We're now insulating the suction line. Before sliding your ice machine into the louver docking station, make sure you use a little petro gel and coat your drain fitting, your barb fitting. We slid the ice machine halfway into the louver docking station and then we just put our cord and plug through the access hole. Now we're just tightening up our screw for the access hole. We, have attached, we attached our cleaning cup to the louver docking station just below the ice transport tube. We also connected our water line into the shutoff valve. We slid our louver docking station in. When the louver docking station is all the way in, the stainless steel tab should be flush with your base of your ice machine. We're installing the ice transport tube to the louver docking station. Now we're attaching our drain. We're using a silicone tube. Uh, we have a three-quarter hose barb here, a three-quarter hose barb going to a one-inch PVC. Now we're connecting this silicone tube to a three-quarter hose barb which goes into a one-inch PVC pipe. Now that we pulled our line set down to, to 500 microns, we can go ahead and we can turn our ball valves here, our outdoor condensing unit, to give a positive pressure to our line set. Now that we have our, our ice machine pushed all the way into our louver docking station, and we have positive refrigeration pressure on our line set, we can go ahead and uh, connect our quick connects. We're going to add a little dab of oil to the threads on both of these. We're tightening down to about 30 foot pounds. To connect the liquid with the wine, you're going to need a backing wrench. We're tightening this down to 30 foot-pounds. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and plug the socket into the outlet. When the unit's ready to be charged, you're going to go ahead and, and turn the power on to the ice machine. So the liquid line solenoid turns on so that you can put a, a charge in your outdoor unit. Before we apply power to our outdoor condensing unit, we want to make sure that all three phases are connected to the to the line side of our contactor at the very top. Once we apply power, we're going to check and make sure we have all three phases. We're going to go from L1 to L2, L1 to L3, L2 to L1, L2 to L3, and then L3 to our L1 and L2. That's going to prove that we have all three phases. On the phase monitor, there's, there's three settings. Restart delay, voltage, and trip delay. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that our dial 
In this case, we have about 210 volts that were at the 210 volt dial. Our restart delay should be at 200 seconds and our trip delay should be at seven seconds. Now, just so you know that when you apply power, this unit's not gonna come on for, for 200 seconds or about three minutes. So after three minutes after the, the power is applied or an electrical fault is corrected, the light, the green light will turn on for run and then your contact should close so, so you have power to the rest of your control circuit. Now that we've vacuumed out our, our line set, we've turned on our service valves to give our line set a positive pressure. Then at, we connected our ice machine via the quick disconnects. The system is all tied together now and we're ready to charge. The ice machine head itself comes with a holding charge of a half a pound. The outdoor condensing unit also comes with a holding charge of a half a pound. The system is, is a total of 14 and a half pounds. The initial charge should be 13 and a half pounds and you're, you're first going to start by adding liquid to the king valve on the receiver and then what, the remainder of the charge is going to be put in through the, the Schrader valve uh, just ahead of the suction service valve on the outdoor condensing unit.